We have explained the status of the reactor water injection system through reports, etc. In addition, today we would like to introduce some site footage. First, we will introduce the reactor water injection system, which is an important facility in order for us to realize and maintain the cold shutdown of the reactors towards restoration from the accident. The contents of the footage are tanks, pumps, installation of hose pipes, and the status of confirming the amount of injected water. The buffer tank is installed on the east side of the main building. The capacity of the tank is 1,000 tons. The water is taken from the buffer tank in this way and is transferred to the feed water tank. This is a fire truck for backup purposes. The details will be explained later. Hose pipes from the buffer tank are connected to the reactor injection pump on the hill for regular usage. The three pumps for units 1 to 3 were previously used. However, at present, the number 2 pump in the center deals with water injection for units 1 to 3 since the amount of water injection has decreased. We will begin operations of the number 1 or number 3 pump and continue the water injection in case there is trouble with the number two pump. Around the pumps, workers from manufacturers and TEPCO employees engage in periodical patrol and maintenance work. Because we plan to install the pumps on a more stable stand in the future, we will measure the dimensions beforehand. This is the reactor injection pump on the hill for emergency use, which is next to the reactor injection pump on the hill for regular use. We have installed the three pumps as is the case with the pumps for regular use. We can see the red box at the back. This is the emergency power supply facility for the emergency use pumps. A temporary boric acid solution pump is installed next to the pump. The boric acid solution will be injected immediately in the event of a recriticality. On the hill, there are three pumps for regular use and three pumps for emergency use. In the event that all pumps malfunction, we have prepared three fire trucks for backup, which are already refueled and at the ready. GL plus 34 meters on the upper left of the screen means that the pumps and the fire truck are situated 34 meters above sea level. They cannot be damaged even if a huge tsunami occurs. If necessary, we will affix marks on the hose pipes in order to help us understand where each hose pipe is attached. The reactor injection pumps on the hill are arranged as shown on the screen. The three pumps for regular use are on the right side with the power being supplied from a transmission line. The transmission line is connected to several transmission lines for increasing power supply re reliability. The power supply to the pumps comes from Okuma number two line at present. However, in case of a blackout, the power supply will be maintained through the other four systems such as the Okuma number three line, Tohoku nuclear line, Yonomori number one line, and so on. Furthermore, the pumps for emergency use are on the left and a diesel generator is in the center. 
The power supply to the pumps for emergency use is maintained through the diesel generator. Water injection from the buffer tanks is carried out in that way. In case the buffer tanks malfunction, we have installed filtrate tanks as backups. 8,000 kiloliters is indicated on the body of the tank. Two 8,000 ton tanks have been installed at the power station. As a water source, there is an underground tank containing 970 tons of water. The tank is connected to the Sakashita Dam in Tomioka Town and water is supplied from the dam. This is a view of the buffer tank from the filtrate tank. In a worst case scenario, if these pumps malfunction, we have installed a reactor injection pump and another purified water tank using a different route. This is installed next to the turbine building. There are two 2,000 ton tanks. Next to the tanks, there are reactor injection pumps and a diesel generator for exclusive use. As such, we have prepared the pumps from a thorough safety perspective. There are three reactor injection pumps next to the purified water tank. This is the view of the reactor injection pumps on the hill from the turbine building. The landform is slanted upward, as you can see. As explained earlier, the injection pumps, etc., are situated 34 meters above sea level. Finally, I would like to introduce a view of the entrance to the reactor building of Unit 3. This is the view from the side of the turbine building. There are a flow meter and red valves to adjust flow volume. We are checking the flow volume of the pumps and pressure for injected water day by day in this way and confirming whether to inject water stably. There are two kinds of water injection lines, the core spray system and the feed water system. These flow meters are remotely monitored via a web camera on the computer at the main anti-earthquake building. This is the end of the footage. We will continue to do our best to ensure that everything is in place for the water injection to the